Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise. In this one, we will be working and converting hexadecimals and decimal values. The exercise uh, is to write a program that allows the user to input any number of hexadecimal characters, sum the values, and display the sum as hexadecimal value. Within the loop, convert each character entered to its decimal equivalent. Treat each single inputted character as a separate value. Display the original hex value and the corresponding decimal value. So for example, if the user enters F, then 15 should be displayed as that's the decimal equivalent. Use a sentinel value to control the loop. After all values are entered, display the sum of values entered in both hexadecimal and decimal notation. So, we'll be working with the uh, hexadecimal values, which are the numbers 0 through uh, 9 and numbers A through, uh, A through F. So, what I'm going to do first is going to make sure that the user enters valid numbers. So, again, it's 0 to 9 and uh, letters A through F. So I'm going to use regular expressions for that. So I'm going to use a regex and call uh, create new regex. And um, this is the pattern that we will be following. The numbers are again 0 to 9. So we will, we will follow the uh, 0 through 9 uh, numbers. and uh, the letters are A through F. So uh, this is our pattern that uh, we'll make, we will make sure with that uh, the correct values are entered because we don't, we don't deal with uh, like 11 or 12 for example or negative numbers and we don't deal with any other letters. So the next one I'm going to create a string for input that we will use and the next one I'm going to we will need the sum for the summation of all the uh, of the values entered uh, and uh, also I will need a integer equivalent of the input because we will be converting it between decimal and hexadecimal I'm just gonna copy it right after the input itself so this is the equivalent of the input but an integer and you'll see how it works a little later uh, and uh, I need one more variable and it's gonna be a string called all input and this will be a long string that we will be adding to as we loop that is basically hold all the input it will say something like hexadecimal value of zero is zero for example or something like that and then we will loop and uh, through the another input and add it on top of that or next to it so it's gonna be one long string for the for our output but it will hold obviously all the input so let's do the while loop uh, do while and we will loop until the let's say user enters Q for quit so and to ensure that a user can enter lowercase Q as well we will convert it to uppercase now uh, it's underlined because the input has not been uh, uh, initialized but we will initialize it uh, later it's just a string input we could just make it string input equals uh, empty string so anyway this is the we will keep entering input until user enters Q to quit all right so um, like I said this is the unassigned local variable not a big deal because we will assign input uh, to from a console that read so let's uh, do a console that write and we will do uh, please enter a value 0 to 9 or a to f or a q to quit no not to quit actually to stop entering and then because after we stop entering we display the output so this is our uh, kind of a notice for the for the user what to do 
and now we will do the we will store the input into uh, uh, from our console that read line so now we will need to make sure that the user entered valid input again 0 to 9 or a, a through f so we will proceed only if uh, input um, is valid so let's create a function that we will use to validate the input and uh, it's gonna be since we, we are not using any classes or anything and no OOP we will just do private static and it will return a boolean true or false and we'll just call it validate input and we will pass the the input string and we will also pass the rejects because that's the uh, variable that we created to hold uh, the correct values we will compare whether the values are indeed within that, that range so check if only one character was entered first because remember the assignment says we need only one character at a time so uh, if user entered let's say one one that's an invalid input so we will check the length of the input if it's greater than one we will return false again only one single character is used uh, another false would be returned if the uh, rejects is not met if the uh, if the uh, basically the input is not between 0 and 9 and a through f so uh, we will do else if if not rejects dot is match and we are matching the the input and uh, I'm gonna make it to upper because if the user enters lowercase we will still convert it to a hexadecimal so uh, if that's not met then we will again return false otherwise we can return true all right so uh, this is our condition again we will check if only one letter was uh, one number was uh, entered we will check if the pattern is correct if uh, if it was 0 9 or a through f and if all of that matches all of that uh, is okay then we return true uh, uh, the input is valid so we can come back to our our loop uh, again that's our rejects remember that's what we are passing into our validate input the whole pattern so that's what we are checking against so if that all is okay we can uh, now uh, within the do while loop we can do the condition so if the input does not equal to Q because that's when the user wants to stop entering and the input uh, that was returned from the validate input function is uh, okay if, if true is returned then uh, we can proceed and the first thing we can do is to do the do the sum uh, we'll add to it uh, we will convert the input to uh, the integer and that's gonna be our our decimal value uh, now remember if the user entered a letter it's still like a through f it's still valid so uh, we have to convert it to a decimal and to convert it to decimal you use the syntax convert to integer and then the string that you are converting which is input and then 16 means to uh, convert it to decimal so now there's two things that the user can enter a number or a letter and we have to check for each uh, so we will first see if the user entered uh, entered a number so we will use our try parse and we will uh, if it if it uh, passes then we will output an input number which I told you is the integer equivalent of input so if it's a number and we already know it's uh, 0 through 9 because we already passed the validation we can add to our input string which uh, currently is empty at the, at the beginning and we will enter something like decimal value of the input 
let's say decimal value of one has hex value of and in this case it will be one but uh, we are going to use the uh, conversion to uh, to hexadecimal value so we will use the integer input which is the input number we will do that to string and then we will pass the x into it and the x converts the integer that is uh, the input number into a hexadecimal number so uh, it will read decimal value of 1 has hex value of 1 now again the numbers are the same 0 uh, decimal is also 0 hex 1 decimal is also 0 uh, I mean 1 uh, hex but this is uh, how you would be converting decimal to uh, hexadecimals now if we are we entered a letter a through f and we know that it's uh, already a through f because uh, again we validated it already then we will add a string called something like uh, hex value of the uh, and we will use the input uh, uh, and we will convert it to string uh, so if the hex value of uh, the letter a and we will convert it to upper again because uh, in case the user entered a, a lowercase so if the the hex value of a has a decimal value of and now we will convert that a to a decimal so we will do the again we will do the convert that to integer 32 and we will pass the string which is the input and the letter 16 i mean the number 16 which uh, converts it to a decimal uh, so and then we add enter a new line after that so that's our that's our uh, all input put together uh, so as it loops we will be adding the uh, we will be adding to the string uh, all the input that the user entered and store it in the all input uh, variable so we can now do the output uh, so calls on that right line write all input that again will simply display everything that was entered uh, in the the whole sentences decimal value uh, or hex value and now we enter the or display the sum of all values the first we will do the decimal so we will basically sum the the sum is already in decimal because we converted it to decimal within the loop but uh, the hexadecimal sum of all values uh, we will convert using the two string and x within it to convert it to uh, hexadecimal so it's console that right line hex sum equals or is sum to string and then the x all right so that's uh, like i said this is the the same like we did before so uh I think we might be ready to run it. Uh, let me just scroll that down so we can see the code, all of it. This is a fairly short program, so let's run it. So let's enter a number, uh, let's say zero, and it says hexadecimal value, decimal value zero has hex value zero, and then it displays the sum and hex sum, and then it asks again to enter. Uh, so we have a problem within the loop, we displaying all the information within the loop instead of after we collected all the uh, all the input so i'm gonna just cut this with it from up uh, from the loop and paste it after the user already entered q to uh, to stop entering the input so let's try again so zero one two three and let's enter all the numbers so eight and nine those are the valid and a b c d and I'm using lowercase, but it will convert it. So these are all the valid values, 0 through 9, A through F. And you can see that uh, the display is decimal value, 0 has hex value, 0, hex value A has decimal value 10. And then we have the decimal sum. So if you sum all the numbers, that's what you get. And hex sum, it says 78. So let's try the converter that I found on Google. Uh, 
So uh, if we enter the decimal value, which is the 120, and convert it, the hexadecimal value is 78. So we got that correct as well. All right, so it seems to be working, but uh, yeah, let's run it. Uh, let's run it again, and let's like uh, maybe mix it together, like numbers and letters for the for the input. So let's try one A, two, and uh, B, three C, four D. I just want to see how the output looks when they are when the numbers and letters are mixed together. But they are correct. Decimal value one has value one. Hex value of a has decimal value ten. The decimal value is ninety six. And let's see the hex sum. Uh, so if ninety six is the decimal, the hex is sixty. So again, that is correct. So now ch let's check if uh, when we enter wrong input. So let's say we enter one. That is correct. And then too many too many numbers. One eleven. We always supposed to enter one digit. And you can see that it only took the first valid number that it ignored the invalid input. So let's try the same with the letters. So let's do a correct one. So A and let's say uh, R. So R is uh, being ignored and the decimal value is 10. Hex and the hexadecimal sum is A because we only have one number that is valid, which was A. All right, so this is the uh, this is the program. Fairly short, little conversion. You can uh, see how the rejects work. You can see how to convert uh, hexadecimal to decimal and uh, decimal to hexadecimal. Uh, so uh, yeah, I hope this was uh, this was helpful, and uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.